What up? It's your boy, Luke for Prez, back in the mix with another video for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well out there. Today, I'm going to be providing you guys with an update regarding the new YouTube channel that I started. If you checked out my previous video, you know that I've created a second YouTube channel where I'll be housing all of my beats going forward. And I have been posting a new beat to that channel every single day. I've been doing it for about a month now, so we have some data to analyze. Yes, the results are in, at least as far as the first month is concerned. And those results are... Eh. What do you mean, eh? They're okay, kind of, like, I don't know. There's some good, there's some bad. We're gonna break it all down. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. If you're interested in producer-related marketing content and some other stuff that I got going on, that's all I got. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are in the channel analytics dashboard for my new YouTube channel. We have the first month of data pulled up here. That is May 1st through the 31st, 2021. And okay, so let's uh, start with the views. So the channel gained a thousand views in the first month, 16 hours of watch time and 37 subscribers total. So definitely not a slam dunk by any stretch, but obviously it's too early to really tell much of anything in terms of the overall channel performance, right? Because we're completely starting from scratch. To give you like a quick overview into my initial strategy with this channel, you can see by the top videos here uh, that I've decided to really hone in on a few different sets of keywords. The way I came up with those keywords is basically two ways. Number one, I really had to take a step back and sort of assess the catalog that I have on hand, which is made up of, of about uh, 340 beats. Really figure out what kinds of beats I have at my disposal. And then along with that, I went ahead and looked at vidIQ analytics to see if I could find keywords to target that have high search volume and low competition that match the beats in my catalog, right? So the end result of that process was about four different sets of keywords. You can see about three of those sets in the top 10 here. Um, Young Mall times Pyrex Whippa times Southside type beat, Lil Keed times Gunna times Lil Got It type beat. And then also for beats that don't really fit into the mold of a particular artist, like right off the top of my head, I decided to try something more general, freestyle type beat. And then the fourth variation of keywords uh, were for my drill beats. And it was 22 G's times Fabio Foreign times UK drill type beat. And that's how I basically approached the channel for month one. And I rotated between those sets of keywords each day to just kind of see uh, you know, how those performed. And there is definitely a clear winner here over the course of the first month, and that is the Young Mall times Pyrex Whippa times Southside type beat. So not only did that end up being the video with the most views, but if you look at the top 10, we got one, two, three, four, five, six of the top 10. So 60% of the top performing videos were that keyword combination. So an adjustment that I might wanna make going forward is maybe post more of those types of beats and maybe less of these other ones. Moving on to the reach section, there's one thing here that's extremely interesting to me. And obviously this is still a very, very small sample size, just a single month span. But what I'm really excited about, perhaps the thing I'm most excited about out of anything in this first month is the click-through rate. My impressions to click-through rate is 15%, which is way higher than my click-through rate on my original channel. Let me show you what I'm talking about. 
So on this tab is my channel analytics for the Loop for Prez channel, which you're watching right now. And over the lifetime of the channel, and again, the first like year, year and a half that I was posting to this channel, it was all beat videos. The click through rate is only 5%. That includes all of my live action videos and all of my beat videos that I posted to this channel, right? But if you go through the last 365 days, so the last year where I posted a lot more in front of the camera content, you would think would have higher click-through rates. Nope, we're still 5.8, so a little better, right? But compared to this, this is phenomenal so far. Like 15% is amazing. What did I change? Well, it has to do with the thumbnails. When I first started posting beats to my original YouTube channel, I wanted to be different. At the time, everyone was posting like pictures of cartoon rappers as their thumbnails or just pictures of the actual rappers or hot girls or, you know, you, you guys have all seen those thumbnail schemes, right? So I wanted to be different. I tried a bunch of different stuff. I tried uh, just grabbing random pictures from like Unsplash. I tried creating my own thumbnails with text on them on Canva. Uh, lately, like the last kind of attempt that I made was just kind of cool old school photos, maybe like stills from dope movies that I like, um, or, you know, retro pictures of like athletes or whatever, just like something to be different, right? But obviously, no matter what I tried, like that, that click-through rate did not improve. So this time I decided, look, I'm gonna take all of the guesswork out of it. I'm not gonna overthink these thumbnails. I'm just gonna use the pictures of the rappers, which if you type in any like artist type beat into the YouTube search, chances are most of the top results are gonna be a thumbnail with the rapper in them. So after overthinking it for years, I'm just like, whatever, like let, let me just copy what the top guys are doing. So that's been my strategy so far. I'm just using pictures of the actual rappers that are in the title of my videos. And clearly that is performing better, at least so far during this first month, which again is a very small sample size. So we'll see if that continues going forward. So moving on here, uh, another really interesting element to this is the traffic source types. So unsurprisingly, YouTube search is by far and away the leader here with about 38.9% of my views. To go in depth further, they actually show you which keywords are driving the most traffic from search and that is hugely useful for me. So as you can see, I don't know why the impressions and the click-through rate of each individual keyword are not showing up, but you can see the views at least. So interestingly enough, young mall type beat is by far the best performing keyword, followed by Southside type beat. This is not surprising when you saw that top 10 list of, of best performing videos, right? S again, 60% of the top performing videos included both of these keywords, right? Then you got Lil Got It type beat, Southside type beat 2021, Young Mall type beat 2021, right? So like, clearly I need to lean into those keywords going forward, and that's actually what I've done. I've already scheduled the release of all of the beats for June. And really the only thing that I've changed so far is I'm just adding more of those beats to the rotation. So instead of like two of those a week, I'm now posting three of those a week. And we'll see how that goes, right? Again, these results are not a slam dunk, right? Like, am I super hype about getting 86 views for a young mall type beat? No, but like, again, it's a slow grind. It's gonna take time inevitably for this to build up. And I just need more data before reevaluating anything else, right? Having said that, I'm definitely interested in potentially adding new keywords to the rotation and maybe switching out those underperforming keywords with new ones, right? Like freestyle type beat clearly is like not working for me for those kind of one-off eccentric beats that I make once in a while that don't really fit into the mold with these other keywords. And you know, that's not a huge surprise to me because that's obviously like a really general keyword and probably a lot of people uh, target that even though 
it, it seemed worth targeting based on the vidIQ analytics. Like I need to think of a, a, a new one for that most likely, right? Cause you can't even like, that's nowhere to be found in these search results, right? Now let's talk about sales, right? Cause that's probably the biggest thing everybody's interested in. Did I gain any sales from this initial month? Let's check. So as you guys probably know, conversion tracking is pretty damn difficult with BeatStars. So I cannot be sure, but I got two sales from my pro page in May. I don't advertise my pro page anywhere. I don't drive any paid traffic to my pro page. The only place I advertise my pro page is in the description of my YouTube videos. So I can be reasonably certain that those sales came from my YouTube video. However, I used to send all of my traffic to my pro page before I created my custom website. So I need to make sure that these two transactions that I received from my pro page in May aren't return customers, people who maybe just have that pro page bookmarked from a long time ago when I was advertising it other places than just YouTube, right? And based on that analysis, one of those two transactions was actually a return customer, but this one was not. And one of the beats that he purchased was one of the beats that I posted during that first month of posting on the new channel. It was my, my track otherworldly, right? So can I be certain that it came from the new channel? No. However, all indications are it probably did. So there you go. The results are in for the first month. 1,000 views, 16 hours of watch time, 37 new subscribers, and one potential sale. I'll take it. You know, again, not a slam dunk by any stretch, but I knew that going in. This is gonna be a slow grind. This is going to be a giant mountain to climb, and I am mentally prepared for that reality. The thing that I am most happy about during this process is the fact that I'm utilizing my existing catalog has freed up so much time for me to make new beats and experiment with different sounds, branch out, learn more about producing. Instead of constantly being stressed about having to post a new beat, because I was really strict with my five beat a week posting schedule, I can now relax. I can now make one beat a week if I want, right? If I wanna spend a whole week working on just one beat, I can do that. And the results have been amazing. I feel more creatively fulfilled than I have in a long time because during this last month, I've started to make all kinds of different beats that I've never really dabbled in too much before. So that is the biggest win with this new channel, more so than the sale that I got or the views or the subscribers or anything, which is obviously very modest at this time, but you know, definitely enough to uh, see signs of encouragement that I should continue to, to go and continue to refine this. And really, again, the only change that I've made from month one into month two is I'm going to be posting more Young Mall times Pyrex Whip a times Southside type beats. And we'll see how it goes. I'll probably do a video like this like once a month, just so I can share every chapter in this journey with you guys and um in the comments feel free if if there's something i'm like overlooking that you think i should change or adjust or you know just anything feel free to uh to give me some feedback on this let's harness the collective intelligence of the producer community and see if we can up the results of this experiment that's all i got i appreciate the support as always like and subscribe for more. I'll be back soon. Let's get this money, y'all. Peace!